Welcome to CNN Money Switzerland. Uh, a big meeting next week for the ECB. Some are calling it a crucial meeting. Are you expecting anything out of it? Well, I cannot comment uh, on the decision of the ECB. But of course, Europe is in a uh, sit situation that is not that easy. We have uh, now more volatility because of Italy. Do you think we'll hear anything about the slowing of asset purchases? Well, it's difficult to forecast. Uh, but of course, uh, the ECB has then to decide how to continue with uh, the QE program. Uh, do you think that we'll hear a date, for example? Sorry, I am putting you on the spot yes, a little bit. Uh, but I mean, are we thinking sometime this year that we are going to yeah. see a slowdown? Well, I cannot comment on the decision of uh, other central bank. Are you concerned that the situation in Italy um, is really putting a spanner in the works mm -hmm. for Europe right now? Well, it's difficult to say at this moment, so we should not underestimate, but also not overestimate it. I think it's very important to follow the situation very closely. It's also very important that the new government in Italy follows the European rules, and uh, so that, uh, especially regarding the budget, but also continuing structural reforms. How much has the situation surprised you when it comes to Italy? Regarding the elections or regarding uh, the programme? or Just regarding the situation that we find ourselves in now, I yeah. mean, do, would you have forecast it come to this? Well, we have to see that the economic situation in Italy improved during the last couple of years. So they were in a recession, now it's uh, much better, but now it's a change of government and uh, people may be disappointed. That's what, the reason why they elected now a new government. And we have to see for exactly what will be uh, the decisions and what will be also the impact uh, not only in Italy but also on Europe. Uh, and the likelihood of Italy leaving the Eurozone, do you mm -hmm. think that is uh, a real possibility? Well, I, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, I don't think so. Um, and, but if they did, I mean, what would the outcome be f for Europe? Yeah. Well, I believe this is very, very unlikely. But of course, that would be a big shock for, for Europe and would have a big impact on markets. But uh, I think at this uh, point, I regard it as very unlikely. Let's move on to what's happening here in Switzerland. Mm. The economy is doing very well indeed. Mm. Are we exactly where we want to be right now? Mm. Well, this economic situation is quite good in Switzerland. So we have roughly 2% growth. Uh, and this is very broad based. So it's not only the pharma sector, pharmaceutical sector, but it's mainly all sectors at this moment. Unemployment rate came down uh, quite, quite a bit and inflation is still low, but uh, again in positive territory. So this is uh, uh, quite a good situation. So when do you think that we'll start to see rises here in rates? Well, it's uh, much too early uh, at this moment, uh, so the situation is still quite fragile also regarding the exchange rate. Uh, that was the reason that we continue our monetary policy, negative interest rates, but also uh, the willingness and the readiness to intervene on foreign exchange markets if necessary. You mentioned the pharmaceutical industry. What are the other drivers of our economy right now in Switzerland? Well, we have, of course, the demand from the outside. So the quite good uh, global economy, a created demand for our export products, so uh, our exports uh, rose again and this is uh, very important. At the same time we had an exchange rate that was a little bit weaker than last year, so that also helped. And of course also the low uh, interest rate environment uh, is especially important for the construction industry. And um, what does all this mean then for monetary policy for you? Well, our goal or mandate is price stability and so far inflation is still quite low just uh, between, one point, uh, between 0 0.5 and 1% uh, fluctuating in that mm. range. So we have to make sure that uh, price stability uh, is maintained in the, in the future. But at the moment, we have very little risk for that. Obviously, this weekend is a big weekend. We have a vote here in Switzerland on sovereign money initiative. How, I mean, it's unlikely to be passed at this stage. Are you pleased with how things have turned out? Mm. I mean, you said yourself it was mm. a dangerous mm. path to go down. Mm. Well, our task is really to explain to the public what it means if the initiative would pass and that's exactly what, what we did. So I cannot really forecast on the outcome. Mm. Uh, but of course, uh, for us, it was very important to tell the people what would be uh, the consequences of a, uh, of a yes.
And for me, doing a lot of programming on this, it's really come, become quite obvious that not everyone really understands how the global financial system actually works. Mm. And this debate here in Switzerland has everyone around the world watching because mm. it's opened up a whole new conversation that people just aren't having. Mm. Well, this is the good thing about Switzerland. So we discuss about everything. It's, it was an opportunity to discuss uh, very complicated things and also, I think, a challenge to explain complicated things uh, to a broad audience. And uh, we hope that it was possible to explain that to, uh, to the uh, population at large. Another big topic that everyone is talking about right now is, of course, trade. Uh, do you see a general trend when it comes to global trade? It's a big debate at this moment and also certain risk that uh, we will see a trade war. That would not be in the interest of all countries, especially not of Switzerland. We are small and open, so international trade is very, very important. Are we very exposed then? Uh, well, Switzerland is exposed, of, of course, because uh, we export roughly 50% of GDP, so this is a, a large number. And everything that is uh, limiting the possibility to trade is something that is not positive for us. And what about global trade? I mean, how would, how would tariffs uh, mm. affect the global mm. economy? Well, at this moment, it's probably too early uh, to know exactly what could be the consequences. But uh, I think it's very important uh, to see that at this moment, protectionism is rising everywhere, slowly and slowly. And it's important that uh, on the international level, this is addressed and in the interest of everybody to reduce these uh, protectionist measures. Just finally, I don't know if you've been watching on CNN Monday Switzerland, we have something called the SNB Challenge. Um, we're asking our guests to forecast when, we think, when they think the uh, SNB is going to raise interest rates. Uh -huh. uh, and just doing a quick straw poll of what we've had so far. Uh, most people are going for Q4 in 2019. A few people have said this year. One person has said 2020. Could you comment at all on that? <laughs> <laughs> Not really but everybody will learn when we take the decision. You do like the element of surprise, though. I know that about the SNB. Yeah. Uh, not, not always. Sometimes uh, it's uh, unavoidable. Uh, but, uh, of course, uh, depending on the interest uh, or, or the instrument you are using, then, of course, uh, uh, surprises uh, can be avoided. Thomas Jordan, thank you very much thank indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you.